Okay, so guys, today we have a special guest with us, and that is the Radon RX 560 4GB GDDR5 version. So this is one of the three cards whose reign is finally coming to an end in 2020, and that is because of the new consoles. So we will just see what this card was capable of in this gen and then we will move on to discussing why this card's reign along with two others is finally coming to an end. So roll in the intro. So I've already hooked up this card to my build and there I have an i5-9400F coupled with 16 gigs of GDDR4 RAM along with this graphics card RX 560 4GB GDDR5 and I've overclocked this card slightly like I've increased the core clock to 1250MHz and <clears throat> the memory clock to 1550MHz and we will see the benchmarks of three games first is call of duty warzone in competitive settings then we will see gta 5 at ultra and then we will see pubg at high settings three games three are popular too much popular in 2020 and we will see how much this card holds up to these three games so begin the benchmarking Drop point set. Move to the Stick safe together. Zone. Let's get it done.
So guys, at competitive settings, the FPS at Warzone is too much. Actually, these cards, along with the two other cards which I was talking about earlier, the GTX 1050 and the GTX 1050 Ti, are meant for competitive gaming at a budget. So they, at a competitive settings, I mean the competitive settings is actually a mixture of the medium, too high as well as low, uh, which actually gives you a good looking game so that you can fight, I mean spot enemies clearly at the cost of very little FPS drops below 60, it sometimes goes up to 100. And so at competitive settings, Warzone is performing just good enough. And the second thing, GTA 5 is not a competitive game, so you will, it is actually more of an open world type game. So uh, what actually matters in this game is how the game looks when you are going for exploring its open world. <clears throat> so Ultra is pretty good and the FPS was around 30, which is okay, okay, for a card which costs this low. We cannot expect anything more, right? But I have also seen some cases where the FPS have gone as low as 11, 12, 13. This is not expected, but uh, GTA 5 is a very demanding game. Of course, it is a very demanding game. And <clears throat> for such a cheap card, these things are likely to happen. And for the third game, PUBG, well, I should have, I know I should have tested that game on competitive settings, but I actually uh, tried to put a contrast on what the game, uh, what this card performs at uh, competitive settings compared to what it performs at a higher preset. I put the settings to high, com uh, along with some very high and ultra. And then Chiao Yazi and stuff so that the game looks very beautiful and, and most of the settings were high along with very high and ultra and the FPS was 30 ish it was going below 30 so that's all that's that that that's that is actually what we could expect of a card which is so cheap uh, overall I mean, the card uh, performs more than what is expected Along with the, we can see the amount of bottleneck the processor was getting. The i5-9400F is not a very high range processor, not even a flagship processor. It is a mid-range processor from Intel from a year back. And that too was, was just getting a usage of 40 to 50, sometimes above 50 in very intense situations. That much bottleneck. So the, this card is not actually a good parity, does not have a good parity with the i5 for double zero f So that was all for it. This card's days are going over because there are many reasons. First of all, this card has something around 1200 stream processors according to AMD or 1200 CUDA cores uh, like NVIDIA though the difference in them is just nothing just two different separate names so whatever thing you understand better take it like that 1200 is actually falling far behind the line of AAA gaming from 2020 and onwards second thing is the amount of VRAM and the configuration of the VRAM it's 4 gigs which is which was okay till 2020 but from next gen gaming 4 gigs will fall short and it has GDDR5 memory, which is okay for current gen gaming. For current gen gaming, it is okay, but for 2020 games like Cyberpunk, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it will be okay. But uh, from, from 2020 and onwards, when the current gen consoles will slowly start getting backdated and their support will finally end, then games are going to harness the full power of the next gen consoles along with their GDDR6 memory, then this GDDR5 memory cards are going to fall short. For, for that reason, this card will also fall short. And the third reason which I can give is that this card is a low profile one. Yes, uh, when there are more uh, more fans, so if you could accommodate more fans, this, this card has only one fan. Same card with two or three fans will give a performance boost because the temperatures will even lower in that card. So there are many more reasons because this card is based on an old, older architecture which 
can have, which will take up more power out of your PSU and many more which can actually lead to the final conclusion that this card is falling short but for current gen gaming for the PS4 and the Xbox One level gaming this card was a budget and it was a king of budgets I know there are cards with the RX 570 and the RX 580 but they cost way more than the RX 560 and the RX 550 falls very short it cannot give you, you, you first of all it will, you can only game at low preset and that too um, something uh, maybe even lower than 30 but this card you can game at medium to high and also at 1080p and if you do not you know, consider 1080p if you want to go lower than 1080p then this card will perform even better if you can game at 720p in 2020 which is very weird I still know, but if you are gaming in 720p, this card can give you 60 frames per second. No doubt. So, it was a very wonderful era. I have this card for quite a long time. I have gamed on it for quite a long time. But finally, you know, many emotions and there is the end of one era of one card. It, it is quite some. that's all for this video I had to tell uh, I had already declared that 560 1050 1050 Ti are getting outdated but today I, I, I had to just uh, tell you guys why these things are getting outdated and what was the level of performance these things gave these cards are actually uh, the hardware mark the hardware equivalent of the current gen consoles the PS4 the Xbox one have hardware which is I have GPUs which is equivalent to the RX 560, the 1050Ti, but the margin has gone up, so have the level of cards gone up. So with final emotions, I have to bid adieu to these cards, and with that said, I'm Arco, this is Apple TikTok, and I will see the next one. Bye.